Boy time goes slow. Yeah. 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 Now, you need to sit for Cliff. You can only sit for Cliff. And how is it you pronounce the last name? Zacher, is that it? Zacher. All right. All right, so come on up and join us. And we need three more, correct? So we want to, so all three alternates get to be on the board tonight. Okay. And why don't we have Booney sit for Rick? And, um, Ed can sit right, for uh, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Right. And um, who's the last member we're missing? Steve Jackie? No, he said Ed. Ed's going to sit for Steve. Okay. Cliff, Ed, Steve. I'm sorry, and Richard. And Rick. Oh, did you want to say Rick? No, did I say Rick? Well, he's sitting for Rick. Oh. Thank you. He's sitting <laughs> for um, Cliff. Cliff. No. So you're going to sit for either Ed or Steve? Yeah, he said for Steve. Yeah. Well, Ed's just not going to be here. That's all. Right. We'll leave that up. We got it all straightened out there, George? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, we know Booney's for Rick. Yes. And we know Ed is going to be for Steve. Oh, yes. And Jim is going to be for the other. <laughs> Jim is for Jim. I'm Jim. I'm Jim for Jim. Oh, that's right. You're a member. You're not an alternate anymore. No. I wasn't an alternate. He never was an alternate. You lose your hand and you lose your mind. Oh, let's go. Two, three yeah, Jim is Jim. Jim is just Jim these days. Jim was Jim. Jim, Jim was just Jim, Jim Murphy for. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a long day. All right, so let's. Uh, <clears throat> there are several important events tonight, and there's not a lot on the schedule, so we'll see if we can get through this appropriately quickly. Um, we've done our call to order. Members, point involvement. That is done. Item number three: announcements, correspondence, and mail. We have two items of mail. We have the most recent town and city, if anybody would like to review it. We also have a catalog from New Hampshire Local Government Center. This is a catalog of all their different uh, items that town officials would be interested in. Um, we don't really have anything in the budget to pay for any of this stuff, but if you want to spend your own personal money on it, that's great. Uh, the only thing that would really be of interest that I'd look at right here would be uh, there's the special events planning guidebook, but that's really for the selectmen, that's not us. And how to regulate junkyards, but we've got that covered. We don't allow junkyards, so save you money. Okay, <clears throat> that's the correspondence in mail. Um, this item here was correspondence at the last meeting, so that's not correspondence anymore. Okay, public comments. Any public comments? There's no members of the public here. Anybody have a member? Member comments are going. going once, going twice. Okay, no public comments. Review and approval of possible approval of the May 9th, 2009 minutes. <coughs> do we have a quorum for review? Yes, we do. Well, uh, we only. 
We have one, two, three members. And Booney, you were there, weren't you? Yep. So yeah, we, I guess we, we do that. Yes, yep. we do. We do anyway. Yeah, we're all set. Oh, I, I just happened to see one on the second page. Um, under number five, B. Mm -hmm. Thank you, George, but I'm not. <laughs> We're moving on up in the world there, Booney. They should sit around for Steve. Happy birthday. George? Sorry, I'm trying to see. Vice Chair Person Charlotte. Oh, thank you. Good catch. Um, George, could you make a note that Rob has arrived? Thank you. I apologize for being dirty. It's okay. It all happens. <laughs> it happens. Yes. Yes, we do need one more person. So, uh, Rob, we want you to sit in for Ed Mason. Yeah. And we have the full board. There's two more seats if anybody wants to come up and sit here. It's easier for me to hear why I'm sitting. That's fine. Seat safe? Probably not. But it looks nice. Here, Rob. Yeah. Thanks for your service. Oh, things change. Just doing a minutes. George, keep catching a copy of the agenda. Accept the minutes as we amended, with taking Julie out as the chairman. Vice Sorry, Vice Chair. Vice Chair. Vice Chair. Vice Chair. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> My vacation. Is there a second on that motion? Yes. Okay. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? Nice have it. That's our proof. All right, moving right along. Uh, old business, certification of the zoning ordinance. Um, where we left this was, uh, I had said at the last meeting that I did not hear back from Laura Spector in time to have the correct information for the meeting. I had contacted her too late and didn't make it clear that we needed to hear back from her at a certain time. So there's a copy of the email response right here if you haven't picked one up. <clears throat> Quite simply, it says, uh, would not include quotes from RSA 2134-A in the ordinance because I think the intention of the Warren article was to keep the definitions in the town ordinance and the state statute the same, and the state statute might get amended. By referencing only the statutory, statutory site, the town's definitions then automatically get amended. If you put the current language of the statute, you would need to later amend the ordinance. You cannot add a definition of garden activities without the town meeting voting to do so. So that confirms the answer that we already realized anyway. Uh, but now we have an official from the, from the uh, town council. So at this point, that was the last remaining issue that we were concerned about. 
Um, I asked George before the meeting if all the requested changes, such as cleaning up the the underlines that were extraneous and uh, adding periods in certain places, if that had all been completed, and, and George confirmed that it was all set to go. So at this point, we're we're all set. Uh, you know, really just to have a formality vote that we all agree that this is the zoning ordinance to be passed to Virginia to sign. And, and then, uh, George, could you take a moment to review who gets what once we can we certify the ordinance? <coughs> Concerns. You can see there on the, the second page of the handout, this is what the final notation would look like. It would say March 8th, 2011, which was the date it was last amended at the town meeting. And it shows the members of the board who were actually on the board at that time. So Ed is the chairperson, me is the vice chairperson, so on and so forth. And we file it with Virginia and she signs it. Or in this case, since Virginia is not here today, we could have Jennifer Sonrecker do it because she's the assistant town clerk and could accept it. So, are there any questions? Okay. Did anyone make a motion to accept this? Oh, accept this. Mm -hmm. That we presented? As presented. After we correct the council. Well, on, on, on our... <coughs> well, that's just a thing. Well, I, I, I can't figure out why town has one and I have the other. What do you mean? What? Oh, council of months. C O U and S E L. Is that what you said you had? Mine's I O. I O. Huh. Oh, we'll have to make sure it's right. I know there is a ghost in the system. There is. Uh, they want to give us the details. I said mine. I'm going to be accepted. Correct. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? None. Any abstentions? Okay, the motion passes. We will track down the random SEL, CIL, whatever it is, and present it to the town clerk. Great, that's done. Okay, certification of the rules of procedure. After the last meeting, uh, we've had a lot of going on about the end product of the subcommittee last year regarding reviewing rules of procedure to find stuff that was outdated, misspellings, whatever, uh, or suggested changes. And it came up at the last meeting that members had two different copies. Uh, and uh, it was some confusion over this. We had one copy, I can't remember the dates, one was from September of 2010 and one was from the spring of 2010, I believe. And George did some detective work and went back through the minutes and determined that our most recent version of the, after reviewing the minutes of the rules of procedure was actually dated, was it September 13th, I believe, 10, 13th. Okay. But it was the one from, yes, I have the old version here, uh, April 2009, in my binder, I have the old version, but the most recent one was actually September, I believe, 13th, 2010. But the, Yes, I believe that was the correct date. It's it's listed on the document. Um, is that revised? Or? 
Yeah, the, the most recent one that, that we have is revised that. But